We've sold a lot of plants in the nursery this summer and we've installed a lot through our landscaping jobs that were mm -hmm. big and beautiful and lush. But we get later in the season and we start to see some browning. So what might be mm -hmm. causing that? Well, when things start to look like this at the end of the season, there's basically two causes. You know, the first one is the, you know, the plants in the container, they're being watered, fertilized, and cared for really well. Right. So they look nice and lush. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around and put them in the ground where they kind of have to fend for themselves. Right. So sometimes that when the roots aren't quite established yet, they'll stress out a bit. Sure. And just the overall stress will give you the yellowing and what have you. But the real big problem we're having this summer right now is things are starting to dry out. Right. It was and very early wet in the season, but now it's been really dry. Yeah, we had everybody's complaining rain, rain, rain. Right. And now, now things are dry, and people, you know, people got to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you start to get this browning on the edges, which is very typical of drought stress. Right. It's when the browning is on the edges of the leaves rather than spots throughout the leaves, that's more of a drought stress. And how about the brown in the flowers? Same thing. Yeah. Uh, that that is not natural. The browning mm -hmm. on the edges is not natural. Right. It's more of a drought stress rather than overall turning. Right. But these plants okay. will be okay. Oh, right? they'll be fine. They've got good bud set for next year, so mm -hmm. the plants will be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But the key is that with all your newly planted plants now, mm -hmm. is to give them a good deep watering. Right. Uh, a slow deep water. Slow deep water. Yeah. You know, a, a gallon of water poured out at the base of these things very quickly is not going to do it. Right. It's got to be very slow and to allow that root ball to soak up, not so much the soil around it. Right. So maybe okay. putting your hose so it's just dripping and putting mm -hmm. it at the base of the plant and leaving it there for a while. Come back, move it to a different spot so that it really soaks down into the root ball. So if you've got newly planted shrubs and, and perennials and trees, give them some water. Oh, great. Okay. So thank you for joining us. I'm Liz Snyder. And I'm Jim Hotelling, the home gardeners from Hillside Garden and Landscaping.